this crazy mansion has been sitting abandoned for almost 20 years. You see, back in 2007, someone was building their dream home. But unfortunately for them, it was never completed. The 2008 financial crisis took it all away from them. And ever since then, this home has been sitting unfinished and empty. It's crazy to think that someone's dreams were wrapped up in this home. And it all got taken away from them. This home was left to sit, waiting to find its owner. Here is this home story. So, currently there's no power to this home. It's all just shut off. So it just kind of sits here. Can you believe that? Almost 20 years. What do you think that is up there? There's no staircase to get up there. It's a little entertainment room, but... There's no staircase. There's no staircase to get up there. I don't know what... The, and there's just a nice little cutout. But dude, look at this floor. This is expensive flooring. It's nice flooring. Look at this kitchen. This home is pretty big actually with 8,200 square feet. This house was never lived in. Think about that. But I mean, it was built in 2007. There's gonna be no harmful material. No, no. Beautiful view. Yeah, so this property's 10 acres. Yeah, the, the acreage I looked on the map, it goes that way, and it actually kind of hits the road over there. Yeah, so it just goes to the road and then down yeah. there a little bit. But then look, you have another balcony. Yeah. This house could be so cool. Another foyer. So here's the front door. Like, this is a beautiful entry. This is pretty cool. I mean, look, you could, you could, for Christmas time, you could put like a little small tree here. This is maybe the office. It's got a fireplace here. The wood features are pretty cool. Yeah, this would be your office. It's actually to try and go out on the deck. If this home was complete, it'd be one of the coolest homes for sure. There's just so much custom work and somebody really cared. Let's see. Yeah, just more closet space. Okay, this I'm pretty sure is an elevator. Yeah, completely framed for an elevator down to the third floor. Oh, dude, it'd be so cool to see this place just fixed up. You have another bedroom. Actually, it's three bedrooms right here, including the primary suite. And actually, I mean, this room just needs flooring. It just needs the sink put in. Bathroom, it gets really dark. This is a full-size bath, and it actually continues to wrap around. The wood was almost in. They were so close to completion. This primary suite, you could tell if it wasn't painted green, it would be sick. You have like a little mini fridge, a sink set up. Somebody was definitely excited about this home. I mean, just the dropped down ceilings, a little, this will lead out onto your porch here. I'm not sure why the edge comes out this way, but maybe they were planning on putting the bed right here. Yeah. Looks like outlet, outlet, bed would go right here and TV on the wall. Do you think this was gonna be a fireplace? I don't know. You have built-ins, you can see the tub. But look at this shower. This is actually one of the biggest showers, probably, what, 100 square feet maybe? It's such a crazy shower. This looks like toilet, and in here, it's pretty dark again, but there's washer and dryer hookup. You have stepped up into your jacuzzi. 
A lot of dead bugs. It's just been sitting. I wish homes nowadays did stuff like this. The ceiling, the different textures, the different, I don't know. Somebody loved this home. Yeah, right here is a spiral staircase that will lead you all the way down to the third floor. So let's go check that out now. This staircase is gorgeous. Here's your theater. Yeah. Check out this theater. Full size bar. No, this is the creepy room. I, like, what is this? This good. This is underneath the deck. Yeah, but what's this room supposed to be? Let's go down. What? What in the hell? Like, what would this even be? Look at another balcony. Because you have a half court basketball in here, play with your friends. So this is the stair spiral staircase that goes up to the primary suite. Down here, I did want to mention that this home is sitting for 20 years. So obviously the ton of graffiti has, was, was here and they had a graffiti removal company come in and remove it all. So I'll flash up some photos let me know down in the comments. I actually think that this looks better with the graffiti. I think they should have left it, but you guys can decide that too. Then you have, of course, the elevator shaft that goes up to the top floor. Yeah. And then also, <clears throat> I'm not sure what this room is here. I want to actually go outside and try to find this door because this leads to outside, but, and then this is, is your crawl space. I do kind of smell mold in there. You're gonna have to blur those stairs. Apparently there was a pool. He said because it's zoned agriculture, they need a tank or a pool so that if there was a fire, the police department could come in, drop a pump in and use that. So, but where was the pool? I wonder if it was on the deck that uh, is torn off. No, can't put the pool. Maybe like right yeah, there. That top, that top part that, you know, didn't look structurally sound. Maybe. Yeah. Like, look, look the, like, why is the house eight different colors? going in this one today no but I think somebody uh, oh there we go I was gonna say I think somebody made a try to tried to bang it up oh. probably duh uh, it stinks in this one kind of stinks man Supposedly this is not allowed. This is not what? This is not allowed because it's not zoned to have two homes on it. Oh, why does it smell like that? 
Oh, it's probably the mold from the carpet. Yeah. Yeah, that's mold. Look at that. Look at this black mold right there. Yep. Yeah. Probably not safe to be in here. Too. Okay, we should probably leave here. Ugh. Look at like the matting is down, like it's crazy. It's honestly, for sitting for 20 years, it's not that bad in here. No. Like dude, if you let your car sit outside for two months, the whole thing's rotted and yeah. moldy and disgusting. They built a solid house. This is the garage, look at that. Okay. Huh, all right. Yeah. Well, it stinks in here. It does. Well, yeah, so here it is, abandoned mansion. 8,000 square feet, abandoned in 08, so almost 20 years. It was never finished, never lived in, and yeah, here it sits. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Of course, if you wanna know more about me, my cameraman, Mark, or this home, all links will be down below in the description. And again, huge thanks to Greg, the listing agent, for allowing this to happen. Somebody come buy it.